Hey everybody, it is Tuesday and welcome to a new weekly vlog. I'm on my own today because Matt is at work. Um, so I'm opening the weekly vlog and I'm just about to go off with my mom to the local garden centre to see what plants they've got. So let's see what we find there. What colours have they got there? Um, pink, pink, red. Maybe they see apricots are quite. I like the yellow. Yeah, are they back round? Well, I, bet, I would imagine they're. I don't know. Back round where they were. Yeah. Well, these are quite nice colours. These. They scented? Well, you want, oh, they're with pelagonians. They're like small geraniums. Yeah. They'd be nice, in you know, the centre pot thing. Mrs. Bollock. I'll go and get a trolley. Go and get a trolley. Should we get a two? Yes, those are the same. Yeah. yeah. So Geraniums are separate, but yeah. Uh, yeah. So what are we going to say? 13, 3, 6, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Yeah. Undo the sun. Hey everybody, it is now Thursday. Matt is at work. So you saw a few clips yesterday. We went out for dinner uh, and it was so lovely to actually eat inside a restaurant for the first time in so long. Those restrictions have been lifted now here in the UK, um, hopefully for good and permanent. So um, I had some poached eggs on a muffin with some smoked salmon. Uh, Matt had a burrito. Um, and it was just so lovely. We had an amazing drink. That cocktail was a mocktail, so no alcohol, but it's like a mocktail pina colada of mine. Matt's was a fizzy drink. They were just gorgeous. And then we had some lovely dessert, amazing. Then we came home and just watched TV. So it's the next day. Uh, I need to have some lunch. So I think I'm gonna make some scrambled eggs on toast because I'm really hungry. The gate, the actual gate is being fitted today. So all the concrete is now set and they're actually attaching the gate and working out all of the motor systems. So we should have a gate at least finished by tomorrow. Um, so yeah, all is good. And then I've got some work to do and then it's my patrons only live chat tonight at 7 p.m. Before I go ahead and make my lunch, um, Matt had a surprise package yesterday come through. Now he did buy, I did actually vlog it a few months ago now, um, Function of Beauty online, also advertised on TV. Uh, you get to pick and choose and make uh, your own custom um, shampoos and hair conditioners. So Matt did his and um, 
he's been sent another one and we don't know why because we've still got so so much left of the other ones because uh it lasts such a long time it is actually really good value so he's had basically like a repeat order sent but we don't think he's actually put down that he wanted a repeat order anyway we've got another one so um just thought i kind of vlog that Bo has been very interested in the box and he's been taking out the little plastic bits and it's like, no, Bobo, they are not for kitties, are they? Because they're dangerous. So what I have to do now is to close it all up and uh, put it away until we actually need it. Because at the minute, like I say, we've still got so, so much left. In fact, why don't I go and show you? Okay, so if you look, um, that is the, the bottles. We're only literally a quarter down and that's lasted about, I don't know, at least two to three months. So it lasts such a long time. Right, so I've literally just got my eggs in the microwave. So I haven't got any regular milk. So I looked up how to make scrambled eggs in the microwave with no milk. So apparently I just put a little dash of vegetable oil, uh, a dash of water, put the eggs in, mix them up, salt and pepper in as well, mixed it all up, um, and then put it in the microwave until it's all light and fluffy. So that should work. I'm also doing some toast for it to go on, and I might also add some cheese as well because I just want it to be yummy. So after microwaving, the eggs look, look like this. And if they need some more time, what you, what you do is you mix it. I can't do it with one hand, but you whisk it up and then you put it in for another minute or so, and then it should be all light and fluffy. There we go. So I did it for another 30 seconds and I'll mix it up again and add some cheese and some mayonnaise and that will be done. There we go, the finished product, some cheesy scrambled eggs on toast. Hey everybody, it is Saturday and I am waging war on my dirty sinker. <laughs> so this time I have filled it with bleach and hot water, it'll all overflow and be nice and clean. Hello, we are at the train station and we are in a Stanner stair lift. I feel like Thor the Herd. Yeah. I really do. Right, so it's raining. I had a bad morning. You have. I felt like, I don't know, I've just felt weird and just stressed out and a bit rushed getting ready. But we're going out for a birthday meal with friends um, in the stair lift. Yes. So we're at the platform now. Right, so. Seeing as it's been raining, we're going to go in, um, in this little hut thing. Oh, it's closed. Oh, it, it's closed. Of course it's, it's closed. Good. Of course it's closed. Um, so we're going to wait here in the rain. <laughs> Yay. We've arrived at our destination and we are now waiting for our taxi to take us on to our uh, final place. Yeah. So we're just waiting for that to come and then we'll resume. I'm filming the bridge, look. Oh, look at those swans. <laughs> They're cute. And the little ducksies. <laughs> of course, <I'm> skipping. <laughs> oh, wow, look. So that's where we were over there. Oh, it's, oh, it's a bouncy. <laughs> Having a wibble wobble. Yay. Right, we have just finished uh, being out and we're we gonna we're gonna go back on the train, but we're gonna get um a port back for that. Yay. 
Anthony's hungry and we're just about to pass the cat cafe. Oh look, I think the cats have all gone to bed because I can't see any in there. No. No. Oh. Hello, it is Sunday, the day after we went out and we had a really, really good night. But I thought I'd just show you, give you a little bit of an update of the plants that we bought. And I'll also tell you about the night as well. So these are doing really, really well. They've been sucking up so much water because they were really, really kind of dehydrated before. Uh, well, no, the soil was dehydrated. Uh, but now they're looking really, really healthy, which is really, really good. So last night we went out, we met friends for a 30th birthday. It was really, really good. I showed you a few clips of what I could. Um, it was a really, really good time. We came home, we watched Eurovision because we both love Eurovision. It's literally gay Christmas. And um, that's kind of it, really. Then we ordered a bit of a takeaway because we were hungry at that point. Uh, by the way, look at this beautiful flower. Isn't it gorgeous? So yeah, we had a really, really good night out. Um, we weren't too late getting back either. Like I say, we... We were in time to watch Eurovision on the catch-up. So it was really good. Um, yeah, let's look. So the tomatoes are doing really well. Look at them. Uh, some nice new shoots. By the way, I love also smelling tomato leaves. Tomato leaves smell gorgeous. Geranium leaves smell gorgeous. Mmm, beautiful. Uh, Bo is out somewhere. Bo was down... Yeah, he's down there. Can you see? He's in the bush. You can see a bottom sticking out of a bush. That's where he normally likes to go and do his toilets in the morning. So he's doing a bit of digging, because he likes his digging. It's also a little bit wet. Um, it has been raining a little, so I've got my umbrella out as well, but I've come in the greenhouse to... I mean, it's not raining much, just a little bit. But there we go, that's a bit of cat activity. We also have a molly growing in a pot, <laughs> don't we? <laughs> and Bo's just come in here and he is just down there. Hello, baby. And Rory's just come in and gone off. So yeah, we have a little Bobo down there. Um, I'm just sat, literally, I'm sat on a grow bag, just um, enjoying my coffee and looking at all the plants. And it's lovely. I enjoy, I enjoy Sunday mornings in the garden. Okay, so if you kind of cast, as the crow flies over there, is the churchyard where I was christened. I've took you there a few times and where my grandparents' um, graves are. And sometimes the church bells start to ring and if you listen, you can hear them now. Okay, I've just put Bo inside because he went and hid behind the new gate. Uh, just thought I'd do an update on all the garden things. Three roses in a pot over here and over here as well. The meadow, look, it really is growing. Just look at this. Isn't that incredible? And we also actually have some little um, flowers coming as well. So that is just looking really, really, really good. We have some new shoots on the rows, on the climbing rows here, going all the way up and over, which is doing really well. The Princess Diana Clematis, I've been trailing through, through the lattice and that is growing really well too. We've still got all the pots moved for when the painter was supposed to come, <laughs> but some things have been put back. So, uh, wind chime, Sounding lovely. Uh, again, the meadow just doing so, so, so well. Um, there we go, looking really good. The bluebells are still out, as you can see. And the roses are growing through them quite nicely. <gasps> Dandelion, I normally take these out or else the, the, all, all the um, seeds blow off. But yes, looking really, really good. Oh, I wanted to show you the clematis because orange blossom out. I wanted to show you the clematis. Now, I was asked last week what variety this is. I have no idea. I took it as a little tiny cutting for, from a friend that I used to know. And uh, basically it grew into this. And if it helps identify it, the flowers have a little slight smell of chocolate. 
yeah, slightly chocolate scented, but they are really gorgeous. Comes every year. And yeah, I grew that from a tiny little cutting. Kind of incredible, really. I'll do a slow pan of the garden so you can kind of see everything. Um, over here now, Amberlynn. Not doing as well as the other two that are doing amazing. So I don't know what's happened with Amberlynn. Um, she was always a little bit slower than the other two anyway. But I'm just not sure. She doesn't look very healthy. Or maybe maybe she's just a little bit late. I don't know. I'm going to keep feeding and seeing how it's going. But in this corner over here, like I said in a, in a, a previous vlog, we've had an issue with the ivy, which is kind of died. So I'm wondering whether something is coming in this corner and maybe an animal might be having a wee or something in this area. So that could be an issue. I don't know. But the other two are doing so well. William and Catherine. I mean, just look, that is a lot, a lot of growth. And of course, Princess Anne. I showed you this bud last week and it still hasn't bloomed, but you can see the rosebud quite clearly. So things are happening in the garden. And Molly's having a little drink in the bird bath, aren't you, sweetie? Oh, we forgot to show a flower, didn't we? Come on, let's go and show this flower. So we've got some wild poppies. Remember I said I thought they might have been yellow? Well, they are yellow, look. And these are wild seeded yellow poppies, which are very gorgeous. And there'll be a whole clump of them right there. We also have um, some beautiful orange flowers coming out as well the camera can focus um they look rather stunning and beautiful so i'm having my second cup of coffee outside today with molly all the other, all the other boys are indoors so it's just it's just daddy and daughter time isn't it yes it is hey everybody it's still sunday matt is dying I'm so dying. if you can hear a dying voice in the background <laughs> but i thought I, i've just had to pop out because we, we we are low on a few things but I went to a different shop, so there's a few substitutions to our usual products. So, we have a roast chicken salad sandwich. Yay. So Matt wanted a roast chicken sandwich. I have got egg and bacon, because I just fancied it. I don't know why. Um, we've got <gasps> oh. 20 brownie bites for Matt. Love you. And I've got the chocolate caramel shortcake Ooh. one because they were two for three pounds which I thought was quite a bargain we've got the oatly milk because we run out of milk um, some cotton buds because we would run out of those and they didn't have our deodorant but this one is the co-op's own Ooh. men's antiperspirant deodorant 48 hour protection less white marks and 0% alcohol so it shouldn't burn my underarms um, and the Sensodyne toothpaste but not our usual one this is the sensitivity and gun so i'm hoping it's still got the same stuff as the rapid relief in it yeah i don't know but it was expensive still but we run out of toothpaste so we needed it and we have someone coming to look don't we hello oh you want the brownies you, the you brownies. want the brownies oh just thought i would share with you all the progress on the new house so the developer sends us weekly updates on all of the progress we got sent this photo this week, which shows a few courses of brickwork and the scaffold is resting on the base of the house, on the foundations, on the pad, I should say, ready to go up when the timber frame will be delivered and then they can start putting up the timber frame. So you can see the big trees in the back. Um, we think they are coming down uh, roughly when all of the nesting birds have been and gone and nested and flown off um so you can kind of see what will be our garden it's really hard to kind of make out um but yeah it's at that stage now where scaffolding will go up and then the frame will go up and hopefully we'll see a lot more of what resembles an actual house so there we go that's our weekly house update Hey everybody, I'm in the greenhouse and I am closing out this week's weekly vlog. Matt has actually gone to bed because I think he's feeling a little under the weather. He thinks he's either got a bit of a cold or hay fever or both kind of mixed together. But also it didn't help, I think, that he was drinking last night as well. So he's having a bit of a recovery day today. You did hear his little sick voice. Right, so 
I'm going to sign off here. Thank you for spending another week with us. I hope you come back next week to see some more. And of course, all the garden updates and whatever goes on in our lives. Next week, Matt gets his new car, finally, yay. Also, the gate should be finished, so I should be able to show you all of that. Um, and I think we're going out a few places here and there as well, too. So, um, yeah, thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed this weekly vlog, please give it a big old thumbs up. Don't forget to share on social media and also hit the bell so that you know whenever we upload a new video. So, from us in Shropshire, to you all, and goodbye.